I'll start this, but I guess I'll just start from the beginning. Hello, I'm Winston Mayo. This year I got married and I didn't have a wedding. So I guess I could start with how I got here <laughs> or whatever. Um, got saved at 19, always had like a introductory level of prophecy in my gifting. And I've always known things, but I didn't like have names for it. So like two years ago, I felt like just something open. And I was thinking that's 2016 and then Come to find out that whole year was the year of Jubilee. <laughs> and I felt it and I had knowing without actually having knowledge of what it was. So this year, the year really just started off weird for me because I just had like another like feeling and like knowing and it was real strange. And basically it was just that I'm going to get married this year. And I was excited, like, Doug, <laughs> you've been single, what, turning 25 um, this month. So like 24 years of just waiting and it's just about to be over. <laughs> but um, as I was, I guess, like living life, I just got like reassured about that even more and more. Like I always heard like people getting, I guess like, prophetic words about like, hey, um, be on the lookout, you're gonna meet your wife. Um, hey, be on the lookout, you're gonna be, meet your husband or whatever. I have never had that, like ever. <laughs> and then 2017, when I felt that all these people, strangers, prophetic people I know, um, friends just were just telling me like words or I guess imparting in me something to do with just like my wife and my marriage or whatever. So they'll come up to me and be like, are you sure you don't have a wife? These are like strangers, so they don't know me. And um, there's like, there's just like something, she's coming like, <laughs> or um, someone will be talking about how prepared I am as a husband and she's just around the corner, or just, just a bunch of stuff <laughs> and I think um, one thing I'm gonna say is that we need to be careful <laughs> with those words because um, we can begin to do self self uh, fulfilling prophecies uh, from the prophetic words we get and the prophetic words that we want to receive um, and so what I saw in myself is that I began to get very, just excited, like who wouldn't be excited about just a really great milestone in your life. And as I began to get excited, I just started to do that self-fulfilling prophecy and just be on the lookout um, with just women. Is she my wife? Is that my wife? Is one of my friends my wife? Have I not met her? Um, have I already met her? And um, the Bible just says, be anxious for nothing. And I was just excited, but a little anxious also. So that anxiety turned into the self-fulfilling prophecy where I began entertaining women who weren't my wife, <laughs> but really believing um, this thing. And that's why we have to <laughs> have to be careful because um, even the word of God says, do not awaken love before it's time so um, i was just tolerating things and just like real deal breakers <laughs> and um women thinking like oh i need to be married by the end of this year so god's gonna grace this god's gonna work this out and what i was finding is that i was just becoming frustrated and then um basically in disobedience to sin until basically God broke it off or I broke it off or she broke it. I don't think she broke it off. I usually broke it off because I just got tired of like entertaining this. And so from that, another word uh, from the Bible says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. So what I was finding is that the end of the year 
is coming. And I think this is like summertime fall. And I basically kind of like giving up. <laughs> and with me giving up, I'm talking to my roommate. And I already told him the prophecy. I actually told a lot of people the prophecy because I was excited. I was like, yo, it's over. <laughs> and then um, I'm talking to my roommate and I'm talking about the prophecy and like how it looks like it's the end of the year. And then either the Holy Spirit told me this or just like common sense, it just began to seep into me. I was just like, yo, this might not be a natural and physical marriage that I'm going to get married this year. And this like legit came out of my mouth. I was like, I'm going to be so disappointed if this marriage is a symbolic marriage to God. And from that, it says from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So that, that was in me, that, that is what I was feeling. I really felt like I was getting short ended by having a marriage to God versus a marriage to person. And that's just a wrong state of heart. That's just the wrong state of being. And it's just incorrect. So why was I able to like reconcile that? It's just, or I mean, how I was able to reconcile that. I found that God was faithful in his word. So this is like tail end, end of summer, maybe like fully fall into the winter, into December. I just found that I was, be, I was becoming more and more Christ-like. I was believing more in the gospel than I have ever believed in the gospel before. And I was growing more and more content with my identity in Christ, who I am, in relationship to him and to others, and just my faith in Jesus was becoming ever more pure, I guess. And what I found was this was coming, not like effortlessly, effortlessly, but um, it was coming really easy because I had another word that God was gonna do things really easy and kind of like overnight to me so not to say this for everybody but I do believe that um, sometimes just abiding and resting in God he is able to transform and I was find that um, in my sleep and my rest in him he was gaining that relationship with me even more so this year has been a very I'm not gonna say frustrating um, growing <laughs> year for me um, more difficult than I ever had imagined and more reassuring and much more of a blessing than I could have ever expected. So what I found is there was something deeper than any natural relationship that I could ever ask for in my relationship with God to know him as a father. <laughs> to know him as a friend, to know him in the depths of my own heart, like I've never known him before. So I think it's just a real like reassuring and uplifting thing about like this spiritual marriage that I went through and underwent. And we're always growing. Sanctification is a process. We are never reaching it, but I'm just really excited for, I guess, like this new season and this like new love. I even like me finding out that I didn't really love God as much as I thought I loved God and just um, working out my own salvation with fear and trembling that right now I really, I really, believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ, that he's able to save, he's able to redeem. I really um, know like my place in the world, my place as a Christian in relationship to non-Christians, but also my place as a Christian in relationship to other Christians and also 
um, Christians in my own circle that I'm very zealous, I'm very passionate, I'm very bold, and I know like who I am supposed to reach. And it's only in that union, in that fellowship, in that communion with God, could this like full marriage of me becoming like a true bride without spot, without wrinkle, I'm not perfect. <laughs> but um, I do believe that this state of me being unmovable in my faith is way better than anywhere I have been before. And I'm just really excited of where God is moving me to. So, did I meet my wife this year? Maybe, maybe not. Did I meet my God for what feels like the first time again? Yes. And just falling in love with the gospel, falling in love with Jesus, having a relationship with God, having security with the Holy Spirit is way better than any marriage, any person, anything I could ever imagine or hope to expect from this year. So I'm just very thankful right now. And so, yeah, I didn't have like a natural wedding, but I did get married because Jesus is our husband, we as the church are the bride, and I'm just really excited that I'm not, hopefully, <laughs> um, I don't think I'm in a place to um, cheat on God um, like I was being so disappointed in not having a person. Because if I'm more prepared for my wedding than I am to my marriage to God, I've lost more than anything I could ever imagine. So I just wanna encourage everyone <laughs> that contentment and godliness is great gain. We've all gained so much in having everlasting life in Jesus that we don't love our life unto death. We die daily, we kill our flesh, we deny ourself, our lusts, our desires, and we follow after the will of God. I'm just so thankful and appreciative of um, this new season that he's moving me into, if that's single or with a person. <laughs> but I'm just so appreciative of the people I can encounter. I'm appreciative of God, because he's amazing. And, um, I'm just appreciative of Jesus and the gospel that is able to save. I really, I really believe in it now. Like I have faith, but God moves us from faith to faith to glory to glory. And like this new, this newness in him, it feels like nothing else that I could ever imagine. So this is my hope, this is my prayer for y'all that you fall in love with the gospel of Jesus Christ daily and that your heart is set upon him, your hope is in him alone for he will not fail you, he will not leave you, he won't forsake you and he'll give you more than you can even pray or imagine or expect for. So thank you, <laughs> um, thank you God and um, I'm just really excited for this new season that um, we are gonna be in collectively. So expect um, very gospel-centered videos, um, teaching, um, preaching, um, praying, um, prophetic words, and um, anything else that God has for the both of us. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, get notifications by clicking the like and subscribe button um, and also hit the little bell um, so you can stay up on all my notifications. Be a blessing um, to someone up, uh, else and share this video because if anyone was in my state of really having your hope deferred and kind of discouraged, I think this can be an encouraging word 
about how much more God is worthy than any of our little hopes and dreams and admirations or whatever. So um, send it, share it, or whatever. Um, hit the like and subscribe button. And um, know that this could be like your ministry, your witnessing, and your evangelism. And I really believe that God will move here. And um, just remember, this is once a male, the regular Christian guy. Remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? Thanks for watching. Jesus, only you can light my fire. Handling not on my own understanding. My